Mesmer emerged in November 2021 with an excellent lineup and then followed things up shortly afterwards with an incredible team video that featured all of their pro riders on the streets of Barcelona and Madrid. The first skate from the brand, the John Bellino Pro Skate, is now commonly understood to be a throne repurposed with a NIM or SSM sole plate. They took the classic throne, filled in the heel where the tumour plate used to be, and then resized a NIM sole plate so that it fits perfectly onto the boot. The debut skate from Billy O'Neill's boot company has just landed in shops around the world, and here are some things that you can expect. Number one, the cuffs are quite high. If you compare them to the Them 909 boot, you'll see that there's actually several millimetres of difference and the cuff is flat at the back instead of having a V-cut shape or a curved shape. So being higher and being perfectly round all the way at the top means you get a little bit more support for those who like more ankle protection. If you're a massive fan of art, but you don't want to pay a small fortune for Arlo's NFTs, you get a lot of artwork for your money with the Mesmer John Bellino Pro Skate. In addition to getting an eyeball on the cuff, you also get artwork on the sole plate, on the footbeds, and on the two sets of wheels that come with the skate. The drawings were created by Chase Rushing, who has been in three Brandon Negretti films, Forever Now, Road to Nowhere and The Meantime, and he was also in the Black Fabric Team video, a staggering artwork of heartbreaking genius. He is an incredible skater and he has a distinctive art style which complements the image that the brand is going for. Those who remember NIM and later SSM will remember that the skates came with a generous sole plate. Apparently Billy got permission from Brian Shima to use the design from those skates for the Mesmer skate and as you can see when you compare it to the Them 909 sole plate it has a lot of extra space both in the negative and in the sole. One of the unique features of this skate is the wheel setup that it comes with. It has 60mm wheels on the outside that are 90A and on the inside it has 60mm wheels that are 95A. This means that you should be able to skate them flat with the fluid frame that they come with and hopefully not get as much wheel bite. Lots of people already use this setup in 58mm with dead wheels so it's pretty interesting that it comes with this skate. One thing that is quite surprising about the Mesmer John Bellino Pro Skate is it's deceptively narrow. If you look at the top, the lacing system, because it's so wide and open at the top of the shell, gives the impression that the boot is quite large. However, when you put your foot in it, you'll notice straight away that it is quite tight on the sides. And that's because if you look at the outside of the boot, it is quite straight. It doesn't really curve out too much. So I would say this boot is more suited to people with a narrow foot. Um, if you have a wide foot, you're going to want to use a thinner liner, such as a MyFit Second Skin or an Intuition V2 liner, because the stock liner that comes with the skate is quite padded and is quite thick. So I would say this skate is suited towards people who have narrow feet. Because of the shape of the boot and the fact that it is relatively straight on the outside, I would say it's harder to downsize in this skate than in most other boots. If you are going to buy this skate, I would recommend getting it in your regular shoe size because depending on the shape of your foot, if you have a narrow foot, you might get away with it. However, if you have a wide foot, even with an Intuition V2 liner, it still might be a bit of a struggle. Last but not least, another unique feature that comes with this skate is underneath the sole plate, between the sole plate and the skate is a dampening sheet and it's already fitted into the sole plate. Now, Muzzle introduced this last year with Sola and people were using them in them skates where you basically put a sheet of fabric between the sole plate and the boot and this means that it dampens the sound and means you get this really satisfying thud sound when you land on the skates which, you know, everyone prefers to the sound of cheap rattly plastic. This skate actually comes with it fitted in so you don't have to go to the bother of doing that it's already done and it's a nice thin hard piece of plastic so it may even provide a little bit extra cushioning but the main benefit you're going to get from it is it's going to make the skates sound a whole lot better on impact and on the roll.
Considering this is only the first boot from Billy O'Neill and Power Slide Skate Company, I think it is a strong statement of intent and I do believe it's going to be incredibly popular. I can't wait to see what the brand does for the rest of the year. They've still got their amateur team to announce and I can't wait to see what products they come up with next.